Push this shit, boom, boom, beat. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, guys, I am here with you guys. I wanted to show you this idea. I was watching uh, Greg Greenwood's uh, YouTube uh, videos, tutorials last night. And yes, I watch uh, tutorial videos. I get ideas. I get inspired. I learn new tricks. I just like you guys are watching this. You guys probably know a bunch of stuff, but you still want to learn more. And I'm the same way, friends. So, uh, guys, he used some steel wire to create uh scoring for folding and he put a wire and then he and then he created a score line by hammering down the wire and i and i was watching that and i was like that's a great idea but also let's take it to the next level friends let's do something different let's get this steel wire and let's just create these cool cool kind of random little whatevers but I use this wire that I got uh, at probably somewhere. Let's put my boom on it in there so people know that it's uh, that I made it and that it's not, in fact, phony baloney. B O O M. Now put this on there, and I don't know if this is going to be. A winner, winner, chicken dinner, or loser, 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 loser. But we're just going to just play. So I'm going to put this right here, right in that space right there. And uh, what I learned from Greg, guys, and, I, and if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Greg's videos, he does awesome tutorial videos. They say that he is the Bob Ross of jewelry tutorials. If he's the Bob Ross of jewelry tutorials, I am... What would you say? Put it in the comments of the jury tutorials if Greg Greenwood is Bob Ross. <laughs> oh gosh, I shouldn't have said that because I might get my feelings hurt. I'm a sensitive artist. This is what he kind of taped it down a little bit just to kind of hold it. And then we're just going to go like this. So we've got a little bit of some texture there. Let's uh, switch it up a little bit. Let's crisscross these a little bit. Let's put something like that. That's pretty cool. Let's get some this ways. Now the only uh, downside that I can see to this would be that it's gonna warp my plate. And when I go to put my bezel on, I may have a little bit of challenge to get the bezel to sit nice and flat, but it might be worth it. You know, uh, Beauty is pain, friends, sometimes. I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, 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 okay. let's see what we're seeing. Let's see what we're seeing. Okay, that looks kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's put a piece about like this. Okay, 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 okay. Sliding away. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try it without taping it because I, I'm very impatient. But I know there's a little part here that needs some love. So we got a little action there. I'm okay with that. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Dumb? Is that a dumb idea? I think there's some potential there. Maybe I'll just do more. I'll do more. I'll do more. But I think I'm going to tape it because it kind of skipped around a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit more and I'll bring you guys back whenever I finish. All right, guys, this is where we're at so far. I just did some really uh, heavy sanding on it because it did get beat up a little bit. Did that on the other side, too. Potential issue may be getting my bezel to sit just flat. But um, I think we're going to be all right, guys. But that's going to be this side. Uh, this is Madagascarian, Madagascarian Labradorite. And this will be the underneath. You guys can envision that, friends. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to put this together. We'll see if it works. I'll let you guys know if this is really hard to get this to sit nice and flat. I, I don't think that it will be, but you never truly know when it comes to jewelry, guys. Do agua later. Alrighty, Juaneirosville. This is where we're at right here, guys. Uh, I have this uh, Labradorite in here with the floss. Uh, old trick that I learned a long time ago. You put the floss underneath your stone when you're just kind of looking at it and kind of mocking it up. 
and then you can easily pull the stone out. But look at that, guys. Oh, look how gorgeous that stone is, friends. Holy smokies. Now, I learned doing this that uh, the more intentional you are, the cooler it is, and the less intentional you are, the cooler it is, too. It's so whatever you want it to be, friends. Look at that, though, guys. Look at that texture. Think about how you can add that texture to so many different aspects to your jewelry game. I like... I like it like here, right here in the back because um, this can be kind of boring. You know what I mean? You can do cutouts, but often your stones are not polished on the on the bottom side. So when you cut it out, and it doesn't really look as pretty as the top side. So uh, yeah, this is uh, really just an experiment. Uh, shout to Greg Greenwood for just being an awesome teacher and. I'm learning a lot from him. I hope you guys go to his channel and check him out too. And yeah, so, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are out there making your dreams come true. Keeping it groovy like a drive-in movie. Always leaning toward moving forward. And uh, not just hanging on like a hubcap in the fast lane, but uh, reaching out and grabbing those dreams, friends. Stay fresh, stay clean, drink plenty of water, get rest, hug your loved ones. Stay brave out there, friends. I'm Benny, I'm out. Peace.